The next step in my DIY voiceover audio booth construction project is the two bass traps. To make one long and two smaller two bass traps, I used two concrete building forms. I cut one of the building forms in half. Using a hole saw, I cut four inch holes in the building forms. I staggered the holes so that the sound would be randomly trapped. Using a jigsaw, I cut eight inch diameter discs to make caps for the ends of the bass trap tubes. I used four. I used the scrap piece I cut off the bottom of the door to my booth. Using the building forms, I traced a circle on the discs. I applied PL Premium glue to the edge of the circle. For the standing base trap, I made a base about 10 inches square out of a piece of scrap board, and I applied PL Premium to that base as well. I placed the building form into the glue on the wooden disc and the base, and let them dry. I put a scrap piece of Roxel Comfort Board 80 in the middle of the tube, then packed leftover Roxel Safe and Sound around that. I covered the tubes with furniture batting or moving blanket material. This is an important step. You don't want insulation escaping from the base trap and floating around in your booth or studio. Breathing in insulation isn't good for your health. I didn't put a cap on the end of the standing base trap. I simply covered it with a piece of moving blanket and just bunched the burlap together on the end and sewed it shut. I placed the standing base trap tube in the corner opposite where I sit. I threaded some extra burlap twine around my base trap tubes to hang them from the ceiling of my voiceover booth. These base traps were inspired by tube traps, an invention by acoustical guru Arthur Noxon. Check out the blog post in the description to see the diagrams and materials list. I set out to build a professional audio booth for voiceover recording. Before I charged my drill, I spent two years researching everything from the science behind audio waves to room treatments such as diffusion panels and bass traps. While this is a how-to series of sorts, I am not responsible for any injury, destruction, or loss of any kind, including monetary, that you may incur while attempting anything inspired by what you see here. By continuing to read my vlog and watch the associated videos, you assume all responsibilities for your decisions and actions. I can say that we avoided serious injury despite clumsiness and extreme heavy construction materials. I am not an audio engineer nor a carpenter. I'm just a voiceover artist in pursuit of a quiet place to record audiobooks, content marketing video voiceovers, and voice tracks for radio and television advertisements. Hopefully, you can learn from my mistakes and make an even better booth than I do. If you do, let me know about it. When my design is inspired by someone else's design, I'll tell you, or make a note in the description.